Welcome to the online library project where we learn English and spend our time comfortably and usefully. Today we shall learn how to protect our nature. We are living on this planet and our job is to protect the nature. Unfortunately, many people throw litter and chemicals and our nature suffers a lot. There are many national and international projects where we can actively participate and help save our nature. Nowadays we have a very different climate than it used to be in the past. There are such phenomena as climate change and global warming. These phenomena happen because we used to have large forests, but now we are cutting a lot of trees and in the future we risk not having large and majestic forests. In the past, we used to have just a few cars. Today, we have many cars and we pollute the air. Because of so much pollution, we cause climate change and global warming. There used to be more natural waterfalls and woods. But now, people cut trees and build houses and fewer and fewer woods and forests are there on our planet. We build factories and we cause too much pollution. The future is in our hands. If we start changing today, we can save the planet from being destroyed. Do you know that many European and American communities have different recycling programs. People collect plastic, aluminium, glass and paper in separate containers. Factory workers recycle them and produce new things. In the past used to be fewer cars. People used to pollute the nature less. We use the expression used to to express a custom, a habit, un obicei, from the past. People used to live in caves. I didn't use to get up early when I was in the village. Did you use to go fishing in summer? So these are the ways we can use the expression used to in the affirmative, negative and interrogative. But let us see some more examples. People used to make use of less plastic. People used to make use of fewer chemicals. People didn't use to recycle. People didn't use to reduce traffic fumes. In order to save our planet, we must stop pollution now. We can help our planet if we reduce, reuse and recycle. It is very important to understand that we must stop harming our nature now. We can recycle organic products. We can recycle and reuse plastic, metal and paper. We can reuse the glass. It all depends on us only if you want to keep our planet clean. Remember that we can recycle paper products and empty paper containers. We can reuse the empty plastic containers or other plastic material and metal 
just like bottles and aluminium cans. But it is much better if we stop using plastic containers or bags. We can use a cloth bag for our shopping and use it again and again without polluting our nature. We can also recycle food waste and paper napkins. Some material cannot be recycled or reused. They end up in landfills that produce toxic fumes. It is very important to know how to recycle correctly. We must always empty and rinse and rinse bottles, jugs and containers, the glass containers, the metal cans and containers. There are many places where you can go and recycle cardboards and cartons paper and newspaper and even get some money for your recycling. We do not recycle plastic bags and wraps, but we can reuse them. We do not recycle styrofoam. That is why it is a bad habit to buy food in such containers. The food should not be left in containers. We also cannot recycle tanglers like hoses, wires and ropes. Now we are going to learn some more words on the topic in order to be able to do some reading afterwards. So these are the words from the wet bank. Chemical, fertilizer, pollution, traffic fume, the verbs to contribute, to endanger, to pollute, to recycle, on the one hand, on the other hand. Let us see how to translate these words. The first word is chemical, preparat chimic. Fertilizer, ingrashamant. Pollution, poluare. Traffic fume, gaze de eșapament. The verb to contribute, a contribui. The verb to endanger, a pune în pericol. The verb to pollute, a polua. The verb to recycle, a recicla. The expression on the one hand, pe de o parte, on the other hand, pe de alta parte. Now we are going to read and listen to a dialogue between Victor and his father. They are going to talk about pollution and how it affects us. Victor comes in and says, Hi, Daddy, are you busy? Father answers, Come in, Victor. I have just written another article about pollution. Victor asks, Is the problem very serious, Dad? Father answers, Sure it is. We know how bad traffic fumes are for our health. Victor asks, Is this dangerous for people only? Father says, For plants and animals as well. Haven't you noticed how many trees are dying in parks and orchards? Victor says, Grandfather says there used to be more animals in the forest near their village. What happened to them? Father answers, People all over the world speak about endangered animals. In Moldova, 
They are roes and wild boars, martens and pheasants. Forests die because of air and soil pollution and also because men cut down trees. Victor says, our teacher says that fertilizers are also very dangerous. Why do farmers use them? Father answers, on the one hand, fertilizers contribute to larger crops. On the other hand, they pollute water and endanger animals that feed on plants. People also take some of these chemicals into their bodies when they eat plants or meat. Victor asks, what must we do to save our nature? If we are to answer Victor's questions on what must we do to save our nature, I would like you to pay attention to these pieces of advice. Protecting our planet starts with you and me. We must bike more and drive less. We must educate ourselves and help others understand the importance and value of our natural resources. We must also volunteer for cleanups in our community and get involved in protecting our watershed too. We must also reduce, reuse and recycle. And do not forget, do not waste water. It is important to conserve water. We can also plant trees. Trees provide food and oxygen. Trees help us save energy. They clean the air and help combat climate change. We must not send chemicals into our waterways. We must choose non-toxic chemicals in the home and office. We must shop wisely and not buy plastic bags, but bring our own reusable shopping bag. We must have long-lasting light bulbs because they reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. We must also flip the light switch off when we leave the room. Don't forget, protecting our planet starts with you and me. Let us work with the red dialogue. Read the false statements and correct them. The first one. Victor's father has read an article about pollution. In the text, we can see that Victor's father has just written an article about pollution. So the false statement is has read. Sentence number two. Traffic fumes are good for your health. So the false statement is traffic fumes are good. Traffic fumes aren't good for your health. Sentence number three. People enjoy breathing traffic fumes. The false statement is enjoy. People do not enjoy breathing traffic fumes. People enjoy breathing in fresh air. Sentence number four. There are more animals in the forests now than in the past. So, the false statement is there are more animals. Unfortunately, there aren't more animals. There are fewer animals in the forests now than in the past. Sentence number five. Farmers 
use fertilizers to clean their houses. So the fourth statement is to clean. So farmers use fertilizers not to clean their houses, but to contribute to larger crops. Sentence number six. Rose, wild boars and pheasants pollute the air. So the false statement, wild boars and pheasants, they do not pollute the air. It is the traffic fumes and the chemicals that pollute the air. Sentence number seven. People never take chemicals into their bodies. So the false statement is never take chemicals. Unfortunately, because of fertilizers, people nowadays always take chemicals into their bodies. Remember, a tree needs 100 years to grow. A man needs a few minutes to cut it. Let us develop some advice to follow. Look at the example. People should not throw litter everywhere. People should plant trees. Let us develop advice, as in the example, by using these statements plant trees and bushes cut down trees pollute the air the soil the water use chemicals i can help you people should not cut down trees they should plant trees and bushes People should not pollute the air, soil and water. They should use fewer chemicals and protect our planet. Here are some other statements. Throw litter. Organize campaigns against. Break trees, branches. Hurt animals and birds. Here are some advice I can help you with. People should organize campaigns against factories that produce chemicals and pollute the planet. People should not break trees and branches. They should plant a tree for every broken branch and plant three trees for every cut tree. People should never hurt animals and birds. People should protect the animals and birds. Now it is reflection time. Think of what we can do to help protect the nature. Here is an example. Don't use fertilizers in farming. Don't use chemicals in your food. Don't open factories that pollute the air. Reuse, recycle and reduce. Work out as many rules as you can and follow them.